Hi, I'm Brian Jackson, editor of IT World Canada. I'm standing on the tarmac at San Francisco Airport and I'm waiting to board a plane that's going to take me on a very special journey. This flight isn't about going to any particular destination, but creating a totally unique experience. Zero gravity. That's right, total weightlessness. Joining me on this flight, facilitated by Space Adventure Zone Zero Gravity Corporation, are the top executives and an engineering team from HP. You see, these guys have worked for months to develop a printer that will work in zero gravity. Now that printer is about to go to the International Space Station, and they want to celebrate by experiencing zero gravity for themselves. I was lucky enough to go along for the ride. A flight with zero G is a wild experience. First, you're pressed down into the floor at twice the force of gravity as the plane climbs up into the sky on a 45 degree angle. Then the plane reaches the apex of its arc and all of a sudden, zero G. You start tumbling around the cabin like a helium balloon. This is called a parabolic flight path. With every parabola, zero gravity conditions are created for about 20 to 30 seconds. The Zero-G flight crew organizes participants for all sorts of stunts too. Here in this one you can see me in the back row middle, I'm the guy wearing a GoPro camera, and linked with my left arm is Ron Stevens. He's the R&D manager for HP's specialty printing systems group. This isn't his first time on a zero gravity flight. Last fall, he was on board a different jet doing repeated nose dives and putting his HP Envy printer to the test. So one of the challenges in working through the parabolas is all of the work that we had to do had to occur in the in the high G pull, and then the, the printer did its printing and testing through the zero gravity. And so one of the big challenges for us was just being able to control your movements through two and a half Gs, get that printer ready to go, loading paper, running test scripts, and then ultimately five seconds before zero G, knowing when to hit the button so that the printer would begin its, its startup and be ready to go. On those parabolas, we got 20 to 22 seconds of zero G, so we had no extra time to, to mess up in the front end. To conduct the zero gravity tests, Stevens and his team traveled to Ottawa. They worked with the National Research Council and its Falcon 20 jet. It's been running this program with the Canadian Space Agency since 1994. The Falcon 20 aircraft can fly an incredibly accurate parabola. Its smaller size and firmness of its wings means that its pilots can fly with more accuracy than even a stunt pilot. The result is a pristine zero gravity environment, perfect for HP's tests. We were looking for true zero G. On the space station, there really aren't any external forces, and so they, they do call it micro G but the amount of G's that they see in the space station is essentially negligible. And so in our testing, we were wanting to simulate that pure, consistent zero G as much as possible. The printer itself looks pretty much like your regular desktop printer, but there's some key differences that make it space worthy. Since HP couldn't just rely on gravity to feed the paper through, it had to design a new part to hold it in place for the head of the inkjet to make contact. And instead of just letting the printed pages fall into a tray, a special tongue holds the paper in place. And HP used a new material to craft many of the parts on this printer. Part nylon, part glass beads, this material has the perfect balance of strength and flexibility. Plus, HP was able to use the 3D printed parts to custom design small details. It allows us to, to make features like this, and again, when astronauts are, are flying past this literally, this has to be designed in a way that there's nothing gonna, gonna snag, break the printer, scrape or, or cut an astronaut. Um, we can't have any foreign objects that come off. And 3D printing really allowed us the design flexibility to get a very creative, unique design in place and know that it's ultimately gonna be very reliable, very durable for the astronauts. The first three HP Envy printers are scheduled to lift off with the Falcon 9 rocket on April 2. I just hope that when the astronauts on board the International Space Station go to use them, they're having as much fun as I did, floating free in zero-g. 
For IT World Canada, I'm Brian Jackson.